looking for a tufted headboard but shocked at the price? Well, today I'll show you how you can make your very own headboard at a fraction of the cost. I have a queen bed, so I will need 60 inches for the width of the bed, plus an extra 6 inches for some overhang that I prefer to have. For the base, I'm using foam boards that can be purchased from either Dollarama or Dollar Tree. I kept the original height of the board at 30 inches. Now we're going to attach the boards together using some tape. To make the board more sturdy, I added a second layer of foam board with some hot glue. Next, take two layers of batting, cut it through the approximate size of the board, then glue them together. Remember to use a small amount of hot glue and only on the edges. Then glue it to the board. Trim off the axis. I added two additional layers of batting to add more volume. It's sort of like building a cake with many layers. Place the board on top of a larger piece of batting and tightly glue the first layer. I repeated a second layer, so in total I have six layers of batting. After you are done, it should look something like this. Nice and plush, almost like a pillow. For my fabric covered buttons, I use this handy button kit. You basically cut out circles using the template, and then you stuff the fabric into the silicone mold, take your button shell and press it in. Because I'm using a thicker fabric, I'm going to give it a bit of a trim to fit it in.
I found using a ramekin to press the button in made it easier on my thumb and fingers. Using heavy duty button string, thread your string through your needle, then make a knot at the end. Take a plain button and thread the needle going under and over two times. Once you marked where you want your buttons to go, drape your fabric over your board. Push your needle through your marked area, then push your needle back as close to the area you pulled it out from. Then thread the needle going under and over your button. Push the needle back in. This time, put the needle through your fabric button and push it back in the board again. Pull firmly while taking your string and wrapping it around the button several times. Then make a few loops to create a strong knot. This will ensure your button is on tight and keeps the string secure. Now that all the buttons are in, use hot glue to glue the fabric to the board. Work in smaller sections, pulling the fabric tight as you go along. Be careful not to burn your hands, you can always use oven mitts to protect yourself from the heat.
make some foam blocks by gluing them on top of each other. I have a total of five layers. The blocks add height, making it easier to stick to the wall. Now glue them to the back of your board. I used six heavy duty command strips to stick the headboard onto my bedroom wall. I added a few more blocks just to balance the board and provide additional support. I just love the final product. It really transforms the space, making it warm and inviting. I also love that it's so customizable and lightweight, but sturdy at the same time. I hope everyone enjoyed this DIY tutorial and like always if you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and see you soon